Hello, dear sixth graders. Today you will learn about variables. This makes math a whole lot more interesting. If you don't know what variables are, they are the letters in a mathematical expression. So today is your lucky day. Do you know what are variables? If you don't, they are the letters in a mathematical expression. For example, 2a plus 5. A variable represents a num any number. That means that we need to find a number. How do they work, you might be asking yourself. If you see a plus 7, a would be equal to 1a, and you can just add 7 plus 1. And that you know the answer of. That would be 8. And since 1 was really a, it equals 8a. If there is more than one number besides the variable, it means that there are multiple things that you are trying to represent. What are they? Well, in mathematics, a variable is a placeholder you can put anywhere and it works for varying expressions or quantities. This is used to represent an unknown part of the expression or equation. Hello, I'm Mr. Misix, and today you learn from me. Let's change subject. How do they work? Well, a variable is a symbol for a value we don't know yet. An example would be z plus 2 equals 6. C is the variable. In some cases, C can equal 1 or more than 1. Once again, I'm Mr. Misix and you learned from me. How to use variables. You already know what they are, so why not learn how to use them? Variables represent a number we don't know yet. So what do you do? So what they represent is a numerical value. But this value can change. You need to find what you need to find is the hidden number, but to be able to find it, first know how to use it. When to use variables. You will use variables when you need to represent any number in a mathematical expression. An example is a plus a, 3. a will represent a numerical value we don't know. I am Mr. Me6 and I helped you learn. Goodbye, 6th graders. It's finally time for us to part. I hope you guys learned a lot and have a great day. It's me, Mr. Misix, and you learned from me.